Hello everyone and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. In this video we are going to learn how to create a lens that allows you to warp the camera input and create this cool little distortion effect here. Now this distortion effect is achieved by using the material editor to modify the UV coordinates of the texture. In this case it's going to be the camera texture. So let's start a new project. And the first thing we're going to want to do with this project is create the distortion map. So we're going to take a little bit from the Lens Studio's hand eraser tutorial, which I will link in the description below in case you're not familiar. But we will just build it from scratch here. So let's start by adding a screen image, which will automatically create an orthographic camera. And let's just call this mask camera. So then let's create a new render target. And we'll call that mask target and we'll just set the input to the device camera texture and we'll set that camera to that mask target and then to make sure that we can see what's going on with it let's change our capture target to the mask target now let's go to the screen image let's set the fill mode to fill so that it covers the entire screen and we're going to want to make this a black background so let's create an unlit material Let's just call that BG and let's remove the base texture and just set the color to black. And then we'll rename this image BG as well. And let's set that to material to it. So now we have a black screen on the background and let's import a little brush that we're going to be using to draw. So I just created just a little soft dot, a little white dot here. And let's make a new screen image here. Let's call that brush and set our texture to that. And let's actually scale it down a little bit here. Okay, so we have our brush and our background, but the brush is not actually drawing on it. And in order to do that, we'll go to our mask target and we will uncheck clear color. And as soon as we do that, you'll see that it'll kind of start drawing on the screen and creating this little black and white drawing and this is what ultimately is going to be driving the distortion because it's basically going to be the map where all the black color is going to represent the number zero in the UV and all the white colors are going to be added on to up to one basically so the UV goes from zero to one and this will add on to it at any point in the texture so we need to be able to control this by actually drawing on the screen so Let's create a script and let's just call this brush controller and we're going to need to input two things. First let's input just a regular scene object and just call this brush object and then we're also going to need the screen transform of this brush because that's what's going to actually be allowing us to move it around when we touch the screen. So we'll just call this brush transform. We'll save that and let's add that script to the scene. We'll just rename this controller and then let's add our brush object and then the screen transform as well. Okay, so now we can start modifying the brush and what we're going to be doing here is just taking a little snippet of code from the Lens Studio website. If you search screen transform and you scroll to the bottom, there will be plenty of examples here. The one that we're going to use is the one that moves the screen transform to match the position of the touch events. So we could just copy this entire part right here and paste it in our script. And then basically we're going to just rename the script part. So script.brush transform instead. And same here. So once we save that, now once we drag it around, it'll actually move the brush. But the problem that you'll see is that the brush keeps going no matter if we are tapping on the screen or not. So we're going to need to create one more event, and let's just call this a function touch end. And what we're going to want to do is basically enable and disable the brush if we're touching the screen or not. So by default, we're going to want the brush to be disabled. So let's do script.brushobject.enabled equal to false. 
Once we do that, it'll go back to black. And then once we are touching the screen, let's set it to true. And then once we are done touching it, we're going to set it back to false. And then we're going to need to bind this function to an event. So let's do script.create event. It's going to be the touch end event. Dot bind. And then touch end. Okay, so now it'll only draw when we're tapping and dragging on the screen. So now we have our brush or our distortion map created. So now we need to feed this into a material editor object that will basically distort the UVs. So to do that, we're going to let's use this camera and let's change it to an orthographic and let's add a screen image to it to make sure that it's on the same render or the same layer. And let's change the scene config back to that regular render target. We're going to fill this one as well. Let's just call this cam input. And let's create a new empty material. So now what we're going to do is let's create a 2D texture parameter. Let's feed that into the shader and let's set that graph to the image. And we'll just put the input as the device camera texture. So we're going to need to expose these UV coordinates so that we can change them. So in the UV coordinates here, let's change it to custom. And then let's get the default UV coordinates. Let's do screen UV coordinates. And if we feed that right into here, it'll go back to normal but we're gonna to wanna to feed it actually into the distortion map. So what we're gonna do is make another 2D texture parameter. Let's call that distortion. Oops, distortion here. And then we're gonna expose those UV coordinates so that we can feed it right in here. So it's basically gonna be getting the map from this entire render target and like I said before, the black values are going to represent zero and the white values are going to represent one. And we're going to first, let's multiply that. Let's create a float parameter to control the intensity of it. Let's just call that distortion intensity. So if we multiply that by the texture, we'll be able to control how much it distorts. And then all we need to do is add that back into this regular UV coordinates here. Okay. So let's look at this here. So now we have our distortion map. If we set our mask target to it, and let's set our distortion intensity to about like 0.7. So now when we start drawing, you'll see that it's actually distorting the camera. And we can adjust the distortion intensity if we wanted to make it go more or less however much we wanted and we could also go into the scene and change the brush size as well if we want it to be like a smaller brush so yeah and this material is actually you can apply it to other things other than just this mask so like let's say we want to create some other effects I let me see I have a couple videos here that I created which are basically a couple textures that are black and white that make that mimic some certain effects so like if we add this ripple to the distortion map you'll see that it kind of creates this little ripple effect and then I also created this rain one right here so it kind of looks like it's raining on the screen so yeah that is basically it um, can create a lot of different cool distortion effects with this and really doesn't take that much work to do it as always, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment, and I'd be happy to help you out. And uh, go ahead and comment your lenses that you've created with this. I'd love to see your work. So enjoy, everyone. Happy creating.